With nearly a quarter of Netflix's Marvel characters being erased from existence and season 2 likely being his final season, I felt it necessary to make today's video about Netflix's Punisher. Now for myself, I tend to be a bit more fond of the tone the Marvel Netflix shows took with the characters it had, and this especially included Daredevil. Daredevil wowed everyone with this first season, and then season 2 came along and introduced us to John Bernthal's Punisher, and what was an often lauded and frequently discussed performance of the show itself. He was just so good and served as a great antithesis and proved as a worthy challenge to the man without fear in season 2. Up to that point, John Bernthal was most memorable for his character Shane from The Walking Dead, and some of Shane's traits like his hot temper and his I'm in charge attitude were something he brought into his Frank Castle character, along with more. From the moment we were introduced to Frank in season 2, you get the feeling that he's who he is for a reason, and he's not just doing what he does just for the fun of it. After a long and drawn out battle and an epic back and forth the right and wrong between the two, along with the tear inducing graveyard sequence, Frank Castle definitely left fans wanting more, and Netflix ultimately decided to do just that when they announced that Punisher would be getting his own series as well. And unsurprisingly, John was continually fantastic in season 1. They did a great job in showing the sequence that led to the death of his family and exploring the rivalry slash betrayal that led to his final bout with his used to be friend Billy Russo. Punisher isn't a hero nor is he a villain and I think that's one aspect that I admire most about how he's been portrayed throughout the entirety of his run on Netflix. His stay down speech slash mentality that he delivers in his speech to Daredevil is just an example of how good John is. So much so that if Vincent D'Onfrio wasn't kingpin on Daredevil, I'm fairly certain that John's Punisher would be lauded as the best played character on the Marvel Netflix shows. The show never tries to hide away from the fact that Punisher is who he is, but it also never neglects to show that even he too has somewhat of a moral compass. And don't get me wrong, the action is tough, brutal, and sometimes bloody, but to be honest that is who Frank is himself. And though Frank still has his continuous visions of the horrific events leading up to his family's demise, he still has some support, notably Hell Kitchen's own Karen Page. It's been argued that Karen is a far better pair for Matt than Electra was, but me personally I've always thought the opposite. I felt that Matt was more in love with Electra than he initially realized, especially given the fact that he basically basically died with her, and I felt that Karen and Frank were at least better connected or better understood each other, regardless of if it was romanticized or not. The shocking reveal of Billy's treachery also adds to an already good season, and I'd say that it elevates season 1 in particular, especially after the 6th episode. Ben Barnes is nearly on par with John Bernthal, and it seems like the flashbacks of their time together as soldiers make for some somber moments and make Billy's misdeeds that much harder for Frank to swallow. But the best part of John Bernthal's Frank Castle performance is that he has a good understanding of what the character needs to be in each particular moment. From what John has said in past interviews, he stays in character and has even isolated himself so his performance is as good as it is. A lot of his best scenes are no doubt seen later on in season 2, including a bloody fantastic sequence orchestrated by Wilson Fisk. But even the scene in, with him in the courtroom where he shocked everyone with his confession thus letting the world know that he is the Punisher. And the show itself has shown that Marvel can take a mature and edgy approach and not just cram a show with happy-go-lucky smiles. And that is part of the reason why I don't know how a potential crossover into the movie side of things will work. Because looking at the already canceled Daredevil, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, with the latter being the first to get the axe, Daredevil and to some degree Luke Cage would be the easiest to make the jump but Punisher would as well. He not only played a role in the Civil War comic, for example, but he has met several other characters along the way as well. The only potential question marks that come with Marvel Netflix possibly making the jump is do they continue as a series on Disney+, Plus, or would the Defenders and Frank be seen in a movie? Because tonally speaking, we all know that the MCU is typically light and unwilling to take a mature approach to its films, unlike the Marvel Netflix shows, and this might be challenging for the MCU and even the audience going forward, because not everyone who views the MCU films is aware that Punisher exists on Netflix. The possibility of shows being revived on Disney Plus also features more challenges as well. Not only is Disney unable to use these characters for at least another two years due to the contractual agreements, and of course we aren't certain yet 
as to if the Disney streaming service will include mature R-rated content. And the way I see it, Disney's catalog is as massive as it is, and they already have a shit ton of live action films nobody really asks for, as well as Frozen 2, Star Wars 9, and Clone Wars 7 set to be added to the list. And I highly doubt that them adding Marvel Netflix shows is something they have planned. But going back to John Bernthal's performance, I will say that I was kind of surprised at first when he was cast. Because I personally thought that Frank Grillo, prior to him playing Crossbones, was perfect for the role, especially after The Purge Anarchy. But John Bernthal has consistently shown an extreme commitment to his portrayal. Not just one of the best casted Marvel characters, but in my opinion, one of the best casted characters, period. Simply put, no one could have played the character better than he could. And to be honest, it will be a shame if we don't get to see another season of Punisher. Most recently, though, he was asked about the possibility of not playing Frank again, and he said this. He simply said that I know the reality of this situation, and I'm at peace with it. I really only worry about the things I can control. When I'm playing the character and I'm doing the job, and it's right there in front of me, I do whatever I can to make it as good as I can. But in this business, there's so much we can't control. Whatever is happening with these shows, these decisions are being made in rooms I'm not invited to, and I'm okay with that.